This video examines the first extract of the stimulus material F585. This is the extract on the UK economy. As we can see in this uh, section of the introduction here, it first talks about the UK economy being in recovery. Then it talks about um, their, the evaluation of whether there is a recovery. Some economists then say there might be effects on unemployment and uh, that that might be negative. And then we go on to the issue of real wages falling, therefore affecting standard of living negatively. There is also the issue of rebalancing the UK economy. So that's the issue of whether the recovery is happening the effect on unemployment and the effect of unemployment, especially long-run unemployment, the issue of real wages falling and the question of rebalancing the economy. In the first paragraph, we see that UK growth has picked up um, and therefore there might be a recovery, which George Osborne claims. The second paragraph says that it is broad-based and this introduces the issue of balance. It says that it happens in the services, manufacturing, construction and agriculture sectors. But it does show that the main area for which further recovery is services. 80% of UK GDP. So that um, growth hasn't been that balanced in fact. David Blanchflower, former member of the Monetary Policy Committee, is very negative about the prospects for growth. He says there are little evidence of them being at blast-off stage. To explain that term, you can use the multiplier theory. He says this growth might only be because of the Olympics. He says there was a reckless austerity policy that talked down the economy. Two macro points to make here. One is, if you have austerity, which is lower government spending and possibly higher taxes, that will reduce the level of aggregate demand. We must evaluate that against the advantages of reducing the deficit, principally lower bond yields, that's long-term interest rates. Talking down the economy refers to the effect on expectations and animal spirits of the Chancellor's statements. He claims last time there was a recovery, it faltered. However, in actual fact, growth has been quite good since this article was written. Have a look at the statistics on the screen here. And here. This is where um, David Blanchflower is looking at the data and you can see why previously it was a little bit up and down. The recovery didn't look very strong. But now, look, what's happened in successive quarters since the article was written. Pretty good growth returning towards trend. Liam Halligan's view on growth is pretty similar, negative. We now know that it has picked up pretty well. The next topic is unemployment. Here, Professor Van Rienen says that he's worried that unemployment has risen in the recession. He points particularly to the rise in long-run unemployment. This might be a hysteresis effect, where a de amount of demand-deficient unemployment de-skills people and increases the natural rate. This harms productivity, the capacity of the economy, and hence the potential future growth rate of the economy. I have written a separate document evaluating the Renan view in this extract. Please go to my website and pick that one up www.tnml.ch slash eco. That evaluation of the article also deals with the hypothesis that the government has done very badly because real wages continue to fall. To summarize um, this point, which is also made by Liam Halligan, yes, it's true. Real wages have fallen because inflation has outrun uh, wage rises until the last few months when wages have risen faster than inflation. This has the advantage, however, of restoring full employment. In other words, making unemployment less bad than it was. The final major topic which we discussed before is the issue of rebalancing. Here, we also have to understand why, despite a depreciation, GDP, I mean exports, have not increased. 
That's all we have time for. Now go to the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is available on my website as well as the VLE. Click here. You can see the evaluation of Renan you might need to use and the PowerPoint here from Tutor to You.